when we talk about the, the separation of, of powers, what we're really talking about are limitations uh, on the power of each of the co-equal co branches. Uh, and as I listen to uh, uh, Mr. Grossman, um, his, his version or his understanding of Article 2 is clearly in line with, I think, Mr. Cheney's and, and Mr. Addington's. Uh, and I, for one, believe that what has occurred over the, a period of time is the accretion of uh, simply too much power, uh, you know, to the executive. And, and again, I, I want to be clear, this has no partisan tint to it. I think we're really talking about core constitutional order here. Uh, and people can have disagreements in, in terms of the powers of the executive. And let me, let me put this out. You know, when we talk about state secrets, underlying that is the power to classify. And I think what we have failed to do as a committee is to examine the process of classification because what I see again and again is classification of material uh, that is later declassified or you suggest or as the gentleman from Iowa indicated goes into the public domain and everyone is perplexed simply because it appears to be no rational basis for classifying that information. Um, so, you know, the uh, Mr. Grossman uh, seems to have great confidence in the executive. Um, his testimony is there's seven separate requirements, including Department of Justice review and personal consideration by high-ranking federal officials. Uh, ensuring that the state secrets privilege is used only when necessary to protect uh, state secrets. Um, and I, I respect the sincerity of, of, of his belief, um, yet at the same time, that's, in my judgment, is, is not what the founders uh, designed when they created the Constitution, uh, and that there was meant to be these checks and balances. It's a distrust of government, if you will. You indicated you're a conservative. Uh, I share conservatism in this particular area because it is so fundamental. You know, secrecy really is the hallmark of totalitarianism. And transparency is clearly uh, a, a aspect of a viable, healthy democracy. And I think we've got to keep that. We're out of balance. We're out of kilter now. I'm not here to defend the Obama administration. This is something that the United States Congress must do to reorder, if you will, the of powers and the separation of powers. We ought to be looking at how are things classified. I know how things are classified in some agencies. There's somebody in a cubicle somewhere that's just redacting. You've experienced that. Um, Mr. Grossman, you, you make a statement that says that it's, uh, it could be unduly burdensome uh, for the courts to have to actually review the information. What leads you to that conclusion? That it would be unduly burdensome for right. courts to review classified information? Right. Um, in certain cases, especially those that are challenging um, extensive uh, secret programs, um, there may be enormous uh, amounts of data that. How many of these cases have you been involved in? Directly. Right. I'm not a litigator. The answer I'm is not, you haven't been involved in any of these cases. Um, I'm a researcher. I do not litigate cases. That is fine. Correct. Okay. But, well, let me suggest to you, I have been involved in, and as I know, Mr. Hutchinson has as well as a prosecutor in numerous cases. I've interacted with judges who are trial judges. Let me assure you, the judiciary has the capacity to suggest it's an undue burden 
on the judiciary simply is not accurate. And you ought to speak to some litigators and some judges before you make such statements. And I say that to you with respect.